Uh, so I know, you're looking at me, right, and you're like, all right, how did this exotic mix come to be, right? What is this guy? Well, okay. See, my dad is an Ashkenazi Jew, and my mom is an Ashkenazi Jew, <laughs> which is why I need to get tested for genetic <laughs> I am Jewish. I don't necessarily express my Judaism through religious practice as much. The way I express my Judaism is kind of more like, uh, I was at a bachelor party and one of the strippers sprayed some whipped cream on her thigh and pointed at me to lick it off. Uh, so I stuck a lactate pill <laughs> before going in. And then I spent the next few days Googling if I could have gotten herpes somehow, even though I know that's not how it works. And the fact I was worried about that with a quasi-sex worker really shows there's a problem with me. And there is, I mean, I have an anxiety disorder. I have those prescribed, I have prescription filled. They're in my, you know, uh, bedside drawer. I haven't taken them. I'm weirdly worried about taking them also in its own sense. <laughs> um, you know, I take CBD, which seems to do something. So that's, you know, whatever it is. Uh, and so that's how I express my Judaism. <laughs> <laughs> I also just want to get this out of the way. Uh, if President Joe Biden is in the audience, <laughs> just know that if you draft me, I will spend the whole war explaining that I probably don't have to poop right now. <laughs> but the fact that we're not near a bathroom makes me feel like I have to poop. <laughs> and that's not going to be fun for anyone, right? Like, that's no good. Uh, anyone here uh, like to play a little bit of Trivial Pursuit? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, I knew we had some trip heads. Oh, boy. Oh, I love Trivial Pursuit, but they haven't printed any new cards in decades, right? Like, I got one that said, question, what scandal brought down the Nixon administration? Flipped it over. It's a trick question. Nixon's still the president. <laughs> Tough. I got another one that said, question, what is the world's most expensive sport? Any guesses? No guesses? People always guess something with horses. Here's a big secret, polo, equestrian. Very cheap for the horses. They don't even have to pay an admission fee. No, apparently according to this card, the most expensive sport is large yacht racing. <laughs> oh my like, god. Yeah, until they see my new sport, larger yacht racing. <laughs> for the real well-off people. We got an impression I think you're gonna love. Uh, here it is. Thank you! I'll be here all week! Uh, that was a broke comedian to his parents. <laughs> also, uh, I was after a show one time, I had a doctor come up to me and show me an x-ray on her phone of someone who had shoved a Buzz Lightyear action figure up their butt. Uh, which is weird, but at least now I know what the beyond is. <laughs> to infinity and, infinity and beyond. So that's nice. Here's another impression I think you'll like. You call that a pyramid? I make better pyramids out me bomb each morning! Uh, that was Gordon Ramsay's. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, there was this advertisement that AT&T put out for Pride Month, uh, where they had these gay teenagers coming out to their parents on speakerphone, and they're like, you know, Mom, Dad, I'm gay. And the parents were like, that's okay, we love you no matter what. And then it says, AT&T, for the calls that matter. And it's like, AT? And T didn't know how that call was going to go. <laughs> right? Like, what if the parents were just like, mm, I'm going to call you back on Verizon, the network for bigots. <laughs> Can you hear me now? You're going to hell. It's another uh, fun commercial that aired like a couple decades ago in Montana for meth. Well, not like for meth. Not like, like, get one meth free. Like, against meth. And it's got this kid sitting in a laundromat and the guy in a hoodie runs in, he's like beating people up, like, oh, I'm meth, or whatever. And he uh, grabs a kid by the lapels, reverse shot, we see that the hoodie guy is this same kid, but a few years older with scars on his face. And he shakes the kid and goes, this wasn't supposed to be your life! Which is a great ad. It tells you everything you need to know. Meth will mess up your face and let you time travel. <laughs> right? It's like, John, what are you doing? Shut up, I'm gonna kill Hitler! <laughs> And you'll notice my gesture for doing meth was this, because I have no idea how meth is done. <laughs> that's after all five and a half seasons of Breaking Bad, uh, but I just closed my eyes for the no-no parts. So. <laughs> Speaking of Hitler, uh, this is a little snap of fact people know. Hitler, you know, before he got into politics, uh, was rejected by art school. 
uh, which to me is a great argument for letting everyone into art school. <laughs> because what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> they make bad art? How bad? Art so bad it kills five million Jews? Because <laughs> even then, you do the math. <laughs> Would have still come out on top. Is all I'm saying. I got, uh, got another fun impression. All right. <clears throat> yeah, you like the place? It's pretty sweet, right? I just moved in. I made it with my axe. Uh, that was a spider. Thugs <laughs> <laughs> are talking bugs. We'll close out with this, and then we'll get back to uh, the show. Um, I had a roommate one time. He was drinking some whiskey, and he accidentally spilled a little bit of whiskey on the floor. And he was like, oh no, what if the ants get into it? I was like, you kidding? That'd be awesome, right? If the ants got into the whiskey, just be like, Oh, me father was a worker, me mother was the queen, your mother was the queen, and all of our mothers are the queen. I told me little daughter, one day you'll be the queen, unless they grind you up and then they'll feed you to the queen. Everybody join in! We are ants, we live in your pants, we'll sing the little shanty, then we'll make you do a dance. Hey! <laughs> I'm going to turn it back over to your host for the rest of the show. 